welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock to determine whether it's a buy or sell. At the end of the video, we're going to look at the financial ratios. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. We are going to look at Alliance Resource Partners, which is the second largest coal producer in the eastern United States. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $422 million. So it's a pretty small company. And they're trading at 331, so that's one share of stock. The way you value a company is you forecast the future free cash flows and then discount that back to today's dollars. That's what we're doing in this video. I just entered the actual free cash flows. Now I'm gonna pull in their net income, which is the profit and loss on the income statement. And then I'm gonna pull the revenue, which are the sales for each year. That's also on the income statement. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. Everything looks pretty consistent year to year and healthy. So we should get a good value for this company. Let's look at a capital structure. They pay 46 million of interest on their debt. Let's go to the balance sheet to see how much debt they have. We'll go to liability section. Current debt of 13 million. Long term debt of 768 million. They pay 5.87% interest on their debt. Let's get the cost of equity. We need the beta. That's how volatile the stock is, 1.58. So the stock moves about one and a half times the market. Let's get their current assets. We have to go back to the balance sheet for that. Current assets of 319 million. And that's 36 million of cash, 161 million of net receivables. That's how much money other companies owe this company. 101 million of inventory. Their current liabilities are 195 million. Let's see what that is. Current debt of 13 million, 80 million of accounts payable. That's how much this company owes other companies. 42 million of accrued liabilities. These are expenses they have incurred, but they have not yet paid, and 21 million of other. You can see their equity is zero, but if you take their assets 2.6 billion, minus their liabilities 1.3 billion, that's not zero. That comes out to 1.265 billion. So they report zero on their balance sheet in their equity section because they're a master limited partnership. They don't pay income taxes, and to qualify, they must receive at least 90% of their revenue from natural resources, which they do, the coal industry, or real estate. So an MLP issues units, not shares. So that's why they show zero on the equity section. So I'm gonna calculate the equity myself by taking assets minus liabilities. I'm gonna do this because I need to calculate ratios later. Let's get the EBIT, the operating income, and that's 275 million. Let's look at a capital structure. 38% debt, cost of debt is 5.9%, 62% equity, cost of equity is 14.5%, and the WAC is 11.18%. And that's a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity, and that's a discount rate we're gonna to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated a terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of $2.4 billion. We divide that by 127 million shares. We get a calculated stock price of $18.50. It's trading at $3.31, so it's trading at an 82% discount. So it's a really strong buy according to the model. Let's see what Simply Wall Street says. They're also saying the stock is a buy at $7.17. Let's see where the stock has been trading. So it looks like it broke $20 at least two times, but it's dropped quite a bit. So it looks like a really great value. The problem with small cap stocks is people just don't know about them, so they don't buy them. With stocks like Genus or other small cap stocks that keep getting talked about so much, a lot of people were buying them and drove the price up. It ended up coming back down. But this is a type of stock that needs to get pushed up the price because it's worth it. Let's look at the financial ratios. All their ratios are solid. 
Good PE, good price to sales, and good price to book. PE is stock price of earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income or shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 1.1. So investors are paying about a dollar for one dollar of earnings. That's an amazing ratio. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue or shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 0.2. So investors are paying 20 cents for one dollar of sales. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, they're at 0.3. So investors are paying 30 cents for one dollar book value. So if the company went bankrupt today, it would be able to pay each shareholder $9.93, a 300% return. So this company is a steal. Good current ratio, good interest coverage ratio, and great ROA. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. I like to see between 1.2 and 2. They're at 1.6, so they're doing well. ROE is net income over equity. I like to see above 20%, they're at 32%. So they provide a great value to the equity holders. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense. I like to see above two, they're at six. So they can easily cover their interest payments. So you can see everything is where it should be. Great ratios, great valuation. We just need more people to know about this stock. That's the problem. Let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.